I stopped doing drugs, I stopped selling drugs, uh, gave up all my sin, gave up all my friends, all the parties. I stopped sinning. Have you stopped sinning? You better stop sinning. You say you follow Jesus, but you don't obey his commandments. Why? Because of course Catholics don't worship and statues. And several people, he's not obedient. He doesn't live out that faith in good works. I totally understand his I truth. I understand what he's telling Living in a life that few my people teaching, will live. My knowledge all your sins. From you would Jesus. live the kind of life that I am You know, the gospel now. is about you die! Amen. You're not just unsaved, you're a reprobate false prophet, aren't you? Amen. You're wicked, you're twice dead. And this is essentially, this is the biggest false gospel out there. That you got to lay your life down, surrender your life, give your life to Jesus to be saved. The truth of the matter is that these people do not practice what they preach. They don't live up to their own standard. And in my own experience, I've met some of the sorriest, laziest, dumbest, filthiest, fattest, pothead, bum slobs out there teaching works. You don't get into heaven by faith alone. Shut up! His faith is still counted for righteousness. When I repented, every single sin that I knew of that was in my life, I turned away from. Which sins did you repent of? Because if you're going to tell me that you repented of all of them, you're a liar. That's what you are. What's the context? Jesus in Matthew 23 is saying, um, he's talking about those who want to lord it over others. There are people today that are trash. They need to be discarded, okay? They have no value. Eternal life and eternal judgment is according to what you did. They hate God, God hates them, they go in the trash! Amen. They're filled with murder, they're murderers! When they repent of their sin and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Really, John? What type of righteous attitudes and conduct? How about the fact that you kept a known a pedophile on your staff. Francis Chan teaches the false gospel of work salvation and he has also said some very perverse things about God. I think they've done a lot of damage to a lot of Christians uh, this teaching of Lordship salvation that they've propagated. So Jesus saves us. It's 100% Jesus who is saving us. Yeah you're saved by grace through faith but and they'll add that but. We have to choose to give our lives to Christ. We have to choose to cooperate with his grace. Every bishop of that damnable, wicked Church of Rome is in hell, in the lowest hell, and will be for all eternity. You know, the gospel is about you letting Jesus Christ live through you. I know it's, I know it's good news about Jesus, but no, let, let's make it about you. And that repentance stuff, that's all works. And we, we see the fruit of it when we go out ourselves. If you're not really seeking the Lord on your knees every day in prayer and reading His Word, then you're not ever going to get to full surrender. You're not ever going to be reborn. Because you're still holding on to some sin and still holding on to your flesh. We are not justified by faith alone. Absolutely not. It was their works that brought about mercy. It was their turning from sin, their repentance, that saved them. So watch out for these stupid fools. These bastards, they don't have any works. Just look at them. Going around preaching a false gospel, going around perverting the scripture, going around mocking grace and calling it easy believism, that's not good works. That's just the default lifestyle of these stupid reprobates. Ooh, ooh, I love works, especially works of the law. And then he's going to remind you of all the things that you did that you thought you've made up for. You gotta turn from what you love. You gotta turn from your sins. You gotta count the cost. Okay? And if you love your sin, you're not, look, you're not hungering and thirsting after righteousness. They're scum. They're absolute scum. They're not just unsaved, they're scum. Stupid, unsaved, hellbound hypocrites.